Alright, so it's about 10.30 in the morning. I got some electro swing playing on my fire TV. Got myself a soda. This thing's still recording. Yeah, okay. Just making sure it kept cutting out like a few times before. Hopefully this one doesn't cut out like it did. Um. I got my vape. Got my soda. Um. I got just a couple things I can talk about. Apparently we're supposed to get some sort of a hurricane. Sunday morning until Monday morning or Sunday night no I think it's Sunday morning and um it's Saturday right now 10 30 on a Saturday I think it's 10 30 let's check it's 10 44 like all right a hurricane I'm like okay they said something like 28 foot waves if you're by the ocean and you know 70 to 90 mile an hour I'm not even sure maybe they said more than that winds it's been a while since we had a hurricane in Connecticut so I like to walk around sometimes and pick up like scrap metal uh, or any items that look interesting or usable I've done this since I was a kid you know it's always cool if you find something that's just kind of neat looking you know like a like a trinket or a charm or something you know like a square piece of metal and you're like oh man you want to keep in your pocket and you're <laughs> all proud of your new metal charm you know I used to love that shit as a kid I always thought it was like the coolest thing to find metal and it's like all yours and you can like play with it and you can like keep it as like this I don't know like a, like a charm I guess so I was going through my bag of scrap metal and things that I had found from the last place that I lived and I would just walk up and down Campbell Ave, this is where I live, like right on Campbell Ave. And I would just pick up things, you know, anything that looked kind of useful or metal or, I mean, you know, not just any kind of trash. I would pick up things that look like I could use them later. Some sort of building art project or whatever. In fact, I have, um, at the last place I, oh no wait, it wasn't the last place I lived, but the, the place before that, I actually built a motor out of trash that I either consumed the food out of and then washed it and then uh, built with it, or I walked around and picked up scrap items. Anything that I deemed would fit my motor correctly and built myself a motor. So let me show you. I've been like, I have it on display everywhere I, I stay, like where I'm living. And I smoked all those cigarettes too to get these boxes of cigarettes. That took kind of a while. There's some like vape ones in there. I don't know if you can read that. It says Jewel. So I got like vape pods and shit in my metal bag as well. I drank all those sodas too. And I actually bought the, uh, what are those called? Pipe cleaners or something? And there's some pipe cleaners down here. Look how pretty that is. 
And this one I found on the ground. Check that shit out. Man, that shit is so cool looking. I was like, this is definitely gonna go on my motor. Even like, it's kinda hard to see with the HDR or whatever this is, but it's really shiny and pretty. That one right there. Hard to see. And then I'll take you on over here. I guess I drank that Red Bull too. And I bought this one at a, a convenience store. The Bounce. And some more cigarettes. And you can't really see it, but the platform is like seriously some homemade shit. Like electrical tape and like uh, just a bunch of stuff. A bunch of trash and various items to like create this platform that everything could stand upon and it's pretty intricate to you know to some degree i mean it's not like holy shit but it kind of is holy shit at the same time and then this piece of uh it's hard to see the sparkling and shit and how pretty some of these Items. Oh, look at that in there. You can kind of see that change color. You know, it's a fancy schmancy motor. This is what it looks like. If I back up a bit. That's my motor. It took me about a month and a half to like gather all the pieces and stuff that I needed. And then after a month and a half, I was like, oh, and I just stopped building upon it. And that's when I deemed about three weeks later, I was like, you know what? I haven't even built anything more on there. So I was like, I think I finished my motor, you know? Because as an artist, sometimes you're not sure when you're done, but like your patience just kind of, just kind of like floats somewhere else and you're like done with it and you don't really officially say you're done with it. You just kind of like finish somehow and like do something else and you're not like what about the motor I gotta add more to the motor like you don't even think about it or talk about it and then time goes by and you're like what the fuck kind of patience I must have to like seriously go three weeks without mentioning the motor or like adding to the motor at all and I was like I guess we're I guess I'm done with the fucking motor then. So that was my motor story. It's about maybe like two years old, two and a half years old. I love it. Um, so anyways, I have this new bag of metal items and shit and various other things. And actually, from my, uh, the place before, no, the last place, I found a, I found another metal chain of mine. I swear, chains. And this is one of them. This is the one I got because I couldn't find the other one that I had, was which was apparently in my metal bag. So I got that like hanging up on the on the door over there. But this is my other one. Um, but let me show you like a couple of the things that I prized the most out of my metal bag, like thus far. And they're pretty fucking cool. I can't even believe I found this shit. I found a fucking cassette tape. Like, what? On the ground. And I was like, okay. So I'll probably just bring the camera over to this. I'm not really sure you're gonna be able to see this. I don't have it like glued together or anything. So it's kind of a... You know, uh, volatile. I'm not really sure what word to use. All right, let me bring you over here. All nice and easy. All right, check this shit out. It's a cassette tape. And that is like a, I don't know, I guess like a bike reflective thing. Like, well, let me see if I can adjust this. And then maybe you can kind of tell what it is. It's a little difficult with a tablet. You see what I mean? It's like a piece broken off, kind of. 
But it's the coolest fucking thing. Is it like reflects? Like look at the colors, you know? It's cool. You know, and if you get it closer, like look at this close up. Like you can see all the inner workings a bit. And the tape. Christmas greetings. Like look at that. And I found this is like the motherboard to some fucking technological device of some sort. And I was like, oh my god, that's like a fucking gold mine to find some shit like that. Like that, like that's the kind of shit that's decoration to me. That's like my favorite. Let me back up. Jesus, it makes it seem like this cassette tape, like the size of my fucking face. Anyways, I guess this is kind of good that it does that. But check it out. It's like trying to focus. Like, look at how cool that shit looks. Isn't that neat? You know, I love this shit. I've been doing this seriously since I was a kid. And I can't get enough of it. Like, you find stuff like this and you're like, man. This is like a goddamn toy I can play with now. So anyways. You know, it's about the size of my hand, you know. Whatever the going rate size is. Alright. Uh, how do I do this with the tablet? We gotta figure this out. Alright, so... And this is other piece here that I found. It's pretty cool. So I put it on top of this and I think, you know, I need to get either some glue or something, like some rubber bands, I guess at the very least, and just kind of connect it all together in a way where I can like not worry about it getting bumped a little bit and the whole configuration fucking up. So that's how I have it. Alright, that should be a little bit more straight, that blue one, but that's my new, uh, I don't know, uh, building, uh, my new build. Like, just something very simple and it makes me happy to look at it. I just love looking at this kind of shit. You know, I draw mostly geometric stuff. So you can probably see, based on my artistic uh, choices, that, you know, this is clearly something I'm totally into. And, I, and I, of course that, like, that's clearly a pattern, you know what I mean? And, you know, I mean, I was an 80s kid. So the cassette tapes, I mean, floppy disk, dude, set me up. I am into it. Like, I can't even believe I found a fucking cassette tape on, like, the side of the road. I was like, whoa! I grabbed that shit so fast. Stuck it in my pocket. So that's my newest situation or something that I can share with you. Oh, we're listening to some electro swing. I know I gotta be so careful with it. I gotta seriously figure something out about it. How to keep it together. Somehow enough so that doesn't spill over every time I nudge it. You know what I mean? Like it's a shame if that thing like got broke. Ah, oh, I would be destroyed at some degree, man. That piece of tech got all fucked up, and that is a cool looking piece of tech. And it's like a perfect rectangle with all kinds of little wires. Oh man. <laughs> I'm totally into it. I was a mechanic in the military. So my mechanical mind just goes nuts over that kind of stuff. And I I love technology, and I, and I love learning about technology and. Like, anything that has to do with that kind of stuff, you know? I like the inner workings and the mechanical... Like, how does this work? It just moves this way and that way, and suddenly this, and this is going on now. It, you know, it's just astonishing that we went from, like, no electrical, all mechanical, to, like... <laughs> you know, our cars are parking themselves and shit. You don't even need to be in the car anymore. You get parallel parking, not even be in the car. It like blows my mind. And we have like, I don't know if I'd call it a self-perpetuating system exactly. 
But they got that bullet train. And it's like basically a spool of fucking copper wire that zooms. On like a giant rod of some sort of metal. I'm guessing, you know, I you know, I didn't look it up or anything like that, but and it just zooms like that, and that's how you get around. It's their train, wherever that is, exactly. I mean, can you imagine the first person that invented shoes? Everybody must have been like, oh my god! Shoes! I don't have to walk on pebbles and dirt. My feet won't get dirty. I mean, seriously, shoes, dude. It's like the toothpick. Whoever came out with a toothpick, I guess at the time, I don't use them, I don't really need to. Everybody must have been like, oh my gosh, finally. Oh my gosh, finally. Like, where did that idea even come from? A toothpick? Who the hell uses toothpicks? But they sell, and the guy's gotta be, or the girl's gotta be a millionaire? Shoes, dude. That must have been the number one holy shit moment and like evolution as we know it shoes like you can walk 40 miles now instead of fucking you know 38 i mean i don't know whatever the heck we were doing before shoes came about however the heck that came about i suppose we just said ow one day and said damn how the fuck do i fix this and I looked around and said, what do I got? What do I got? You know, some kind of simple, mechanically creative moment in time. Where you just simply have to solve a fucking problem. I mean, that's probably half of our discoveries is like, damn it. What do I do? I got this and this. What do I do? Alright, if I put this here. No, no, no. If I put this just like that, maybe. And it's like some huge fucking discovery or some invention. And they're like, you know, I just didn't want crumbs on my face. And you're like, whoa, the napkin. <laughs> it's like, whoa, man. It's so crazy. What we've invented and it's just overlooked. And it's like a fucking napkin. I mean, that's crazy. A napkin. They were like, no, 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 no. You can't just eat. You have to have a napkin. They were like, a napkin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let me, let, let me tell you all about it. And they almost listened like a napkin. What the fuck is a napkin? You know, like, what the fuck is a planet or a spaceship or, like, birds? You know, I don't know. Anything that seems foreign as fuck. Like, shoes. They must have been like, I don't understand. So you, like, put your foot in this thing? You know what I mean? Like, it must have been so crazy, weird, caveman. You know, what you're not familiar with at all, like... I suppose that, like, maybe animals look at, like, anything that we do or anything that we have. I'm guessing. I don't know. They don't wear shoes and... They don't check their emails, so... You know, I'm not really sure. But... You know, we have a viewpoint, a point of view, a perspective. We have a data bank that says, this is all you know. This is what you know right now. And then suddenly there's this idea and somebody tells you about it. And you're like, what the fuck is that? How did you even think of that? I couldn't, there's no way I could have thought of that. Like, it, it's what? You know, it's just fascinating. Jeez, I didn't think I'd have that much to talk about be honest with you and I was like maybe I'll just play the music and vape and you know drink a soda to try to like have something going on so yeah I think I'm gonna cut the video off now I don't want it to go too long that's really all I got for right now uh, we didn't vape that much together Let's do a couple more vapes. Like, I can't just leave you dry, man. Let's have a couple more vapes and a little bit more soda, or whatever you drink it.
and we'll just hang out. Maybe I'll make a video while the hurricane is going on. <laughs> In case it's like a show, you know, it might be a show. I got two windows right here. I can just tilt that a little bit. We'll be watching TV together. It'll be hurricane TV. Oh man. You know, talking's great, but like sometimes I just gotta vape. Like for sure. Uh I can't think of anything else. Really. That's it. Um I've been playing with my tablet's color palette, trying to change the icons, different colors and shit, and I'm trying to create neon out of the palette they give you. And it's like a little circle that you press on and you kind of move it around to like the red or the orange or the... And it's like a hue from color to color. So like you can pick light blue or dark blue or whatever blue. You can add more brightness to it. I'm trying so hard to make neon colors. I need neon. It's very basic, this... I mean, it's not like super basic. But it's like definitely not configured neon. You know, neon's definitely its own range. If you want to call it a spectrum, I mean, technically, neon is really just a red, which can have the appearance of orange. But it's actually really just red, which is astounding. Because it looks orange if you look up pictures of actual neon. And that's the only color, really, that neon can be. But they teach you and show you all kinds of different colors of neon. And I'm not saying that's not neon too. What I'm saying is that the actual element neon can seriously only be red. But it comes off as a reddish orange some of the time. It's a fun fact about neon, if you didn't know anything about neon. Really just one color, isn't that wild? Like sometimes the illusionary two colors, like that's fascinating. It's a magician too. I mean, you can't go wrong with neon with that kind of magic. Like seriously, neon. Damn it. All right, that's good for now. I will probably make one later. Thanks for watching.